Patrick Claver, there is a Sacred Sites run that starts this Friday, May 23rd. May 23rd. And where does it start? Where does it go? And uh, what's it all about? Well, it starts at the Crow Creek Indian Reservation in South Dakota at sunrise this Friday, the 23rd. And the runners will be carrying soil from near sacred sites and historical native places. Uh, we're bringing these uh, bundles of soil, carrying them with an eagle staff uh, to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. This is the third year that we've been doing the uh, sacred sites run. Uh, we will be going through southern Minnesota and we will be uh, going through Mankato, uh, honoring the uh, uh, the people that were hung there in the 1800s. Uh, and uh, then we'll be going through uh, the Dells in Wisconsin, through Madison, Ho-Chunk land where there's many, many, many sacred sites, effigy mounds and, and sacred places. Uh, we will be going uh, to uh, Astalon State Park in southern Wisconsin, running to Kashkanag where there's some 1,200-year-old uh, mounds that are just beautiful. Uh, birds, turtles, snakes, uh, and they look just like they did a thousand years ago. Uh, from there then, uh, we'll be going to Cafe Carp. This is June 20th. There's a benefit concert at Cafe Carp in Fort Atkinson. Uh, I'm a musician. I'll be playing there along with Clinton Miller, Bill Miller's younger brother and uh, Skip Jones will be there as well. There will be other uh, musicians that will be announced at a later date. Uh, but uh, then the run continues to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, uh, where it will end uh, the first week of September at Indian Summerfest. Uh, again, uh, what we're doing is we're uh, educating America uh, and, and bringing attention to uh, the sacred sites that are very important to our history and also important to our future. That we uh, know the true history of what happened in the past, that we can affect the future in a good way. Thank you, Patrick.